The time to replace Mark Andrews is now, not next week. Now go to your waiver wire. See if Logan Thomas is out there. See if Tyler Conklin's out there. See if Luke Musgrave is out there. See if Pat Fryermuth is out there. That's step number one. Step number two, evaluate these tight ends through week 11. If you like what you see, great. You found a tight end to replace Mark Andrews. If not, go after the tight end in Baltimore who will replace Mark Andrews. And that's Isaiah Likely. He's somebody that definitely has upside, more of a wide receiver than a tight end, should play a lot with Mark Andrews on the shelf. The other thing you can do is trade for a tight end. Cole Komet shouldn't cost you very much in a trade. Jake Ferguson shouldn't cost you very much in a trade. David Njoku, people can't wait to get David Njoku off their fantasy teams because of the change at quarterback in Cleveland. But I think Njoku's still going to get a lot of targets and have a safe floor of 10 PPR points. So there you have it. A waiver wire move or two and maybe a trade. Hopefully your fantasy team will stay steady in the absence of Mark Andrews.